Getting to Disney is an adventure in itself. It all started with DFW-based Southwest Airlines, which is also celebrating a half century this year. So Southwest teamed up with Disney to create a one-of-a-kind plane decked out with Disney magic outside and in. The GMT crew got to fly on this very special plane first on our way to Orlando for the Big Bash. Oh, this is so cool. And a big thanks to Southwest for this magical flight. But the magic was just getting underway. Here at the most magical place on earth, the most magical celebration is about to begin, and we are going to give you a behind the scenes exclusive tour of the Magic Kingdom as they prepare to celebrate 50 years of Walt Disney World. Let's go. We started with a walk down Main Street, USA, where shops and restaurants have a 50th anniversary special merchandise and treats ready to go, and parades greet guests from all over the world. Now, a few things you may not know about this special street. It was designed to recreate Walt Disney's childhood hometown of Marceline, Missouri. It also pays homage to Disney Park employees over the years, who are known as cast members, with their names emblazoned on windows for all to read. Of course, we had to stop and get a photo in front of Cinderella's Castle, which got a makeover of its own for the 50-year celebration, with new colors and embellishments. The Disney team says they thought about every detail, big and small, like the 50 new golden statues peppered across Disney World. True Disney diehards will no doubt walk miles and miles to find them all to check them off their list. And few people know this park as well as Debbie Peterson, who's been working at Disney World for... How many years? 45 years. Debbie is an Imagineer, an elite level on the Disney hierarchy. Imagineers are creatives and dreamers who are in charge of designing and bringing to life these once-in-a-lifetime experiences and events, like the 50th anniversary. Which is a celebration of so many things besides 50 years of this park being open, right? It's family and friends and all the memories that were made here and the vibe in the air. Now the celebration isn't just landlocked. Disney Cruises is also debuting its newest addition to their fleet, the Wish. The ship has a beautiful and classic look and will set sail in June of 2022. It will sail three and four night cruises out of Port Canaveral, Florida to um, Nassau, Bahamas and to Disney's private island, Castaway Key. From a cruise ship at sea to a galactic star cruiser, the experiences keep coming. We got a top secret sneak peek at one of Disney's most anticipated projects where Star Wars fans can literally live in the Star Wars universe. Now when it opens in March of next year, the Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser experience will allow fans to stay on the iconic ship for two full nights, where each guest will play a key role in unfolding real-time story, all set in the Star Wars universe. Anna Morrow is the executive producer and creative director in charge of it all. I think it is the way the stories are connected, right? And so we've talked a little bit about the fact that you know Chewbacca may wind up on board the ship and, and need your help, but it happens in so many different ways. You may receive a distress call from him while you're on the bridge and help bring him on board. You see him on the ship. He might follow up um, on your data pad, which is the Play Disney Parks app later, and can you know ask for your help. So it's that we're able to bring the story through all the different aspects of your experience and make it a continuous storyline for you. While there's tons of new and exciting additions to celebrate the 50th anniversary, there's still tons of classics to enjoy at Walt Disney World, like Pirates of the Caribbean. Let's go check it out. And it's the classics that have delighted guests for five decades. Going from Pirates to Dumbo to a spin in the teacups, I couldn't help but think about the millions and millions of memories that have been made here over the years. Okay guys, we are about to ride Prince Charming's Regal Carousel and get this, in celebration of the 50th, we had to ride the original ride of Walt Disney World. This is actually the oldest ride that's here. It was built in 1917, originally came from Detroit, came to the original park later. All these decades later, families are still enjoying it. So we're about to take a little whirl, it'll be fun. After a magical day, an enchanted evening was in the works. We got the first ever look at the Magic Kingdom's new nighttime spectacular, Enchantment. A musical, fireworks, light show that celebrates 50 years of Disney. For a woman who talks on camera for a living, it's rare that I'm speechless. But Enchantment did just that. You too can visit the park to get in on the world's most magical celebration. A legacy of 50 years. And many more to come.